Um, well, they're both in Marcius. Well, I mean, are they? Are they really? Are we really gonna equate Crystal Maiden with intelligence right now? Uh, the poor girl. She deserves another intelligence nerf. Maybe, maybe another minus one. Doesn't maybe minus she two. have the lowest int gain of any of the int heroes, or something ridiculous like that? She is actually. I mean, she is weaker than a creep. You know, we've seen the. Uh, have you seen the video where she goes up against a melee creep one on one and she loses like base stats? <laughs> no, but. Uh, yeah, that's that's like only she would lose to a melee creep one on one with no spells. Like she's the only one who has that. So, my God, she's an idiot. Uh, but in the meantime, though, little gun, they are. It's gonna be. I, I don't think it's gonna be anything other than a five crystal maiden. I don't think even they would be crazy enough. I have seen mid crystal maiden in like high level pubs, yeah. which is insane to think about. Like, so Sanctity could pull that off. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be the five crystal maiden. Going on Neon Esports, so it's Zoo. It is Zoo like mania right now. Chen as well as Beastmaster. You can expect like Wraith packs, Helm of uh, the Overlord. Oh, but that's a bit awkward. But you can have that. You can have the mech on the Chen as well. So there's like there's got some decent arrows coming out from these two heroes. And TA to bring down towers. We we talk about the Zoo, but we are in a TI patch, so Earthshaker <laughs> is now officially a viable hero again. <laughs> Uh, have you heard the? It's like when you know when Christmas is coming, and there's a. I think it's Michael Bublé. You know, like two months before he starts defrosting to get a, to work <laughs> on his Christmas album. It's the same thing with with ES. He's like TI's around the corner. He starts burrowing from under guys. Like ah, my time has come. He you know goes to TI, Echo slams the tournament, and just leaves yeah, after that. So yeah, T he. I mean, we might see him. Uh, I'm disinclined to agree that he will be seeing him in. This particular game, I think you have the supports, the CM and the Lina, mm. maybe Kunka mid, Undying offlane, maybe Zelina mid, maybe we'll see the four well, ES come out at the end. Because, um, again, just most of my experience coming from the Eastern European games, a lot of the Linas mm. will run mid here. Uh, you run the of course. Kunker in the safe lane, you know, Undying. Potentially, yeah, und uh, maybe Undying or Shaker isn't a great offlane to try and run. Um, so yeah, are you just going to be relying on like the, the Dragon Slave clear, the, the Tidebringer clear here for the, the Beastmaster, whatever he picks up with his Helm of the Dominator, Helm, Helm of the Overlord, and the Chan army? You know, what what is the answer here for Lil Gun? Do they just rely on this Conqueror and the big splash damage? I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, they also have Undying Decay does double damage to creeps. Mm. Uh, one, so once you get the ten, the level 10 times, you do something like 36 damage, 360 damage, sorry, every four seconds. Crystal Man, you have the Frost Nova. So there is a good amount of like long range spells they can use to clear out all the zoos. So I'm not, I'm not too worried. I'm not like thinking like, oh my god, little god, how are you gonna deal with you know the kobolds coming at you? Uh, Neon Esports, they're gonna go for the last big deal. I imagine it's gonna be, is it gonna be the mid or the carry? They go for the carry Ursa mid TA Beastmaster of uh, off lane marcy for chen five pretty pretty impressive lineup with neon gets going you know like if these guys get their foot in you know they get their foot stable in the game foot stable stable footing thank you yeah. um you know ursa can take roshan ta can take towers uh marcy and chen sorry chen and beastmaster can go high ground with a billion creeps like they neon could be really threatening if they win the laying stage in a couple of mid-game team fights. Yeah, but Lil gonna just gonna pick up the pudge here, um, and then win the game. That's how this draft's gonna go. I I, I see it right now. Pudge. You see the pudge. Just, you, you envision I, the I'm, pudge. I'm trying to, you know, I'm I'm seeing it in my mind, and that's what you say. Visualize to achieve, and uh -huh. I'm visualizing the pudge. I'm visualize a bit harder, my friend. <laughs> I, I think uh, I don't know if we're gonna see that. To be honest. Uh, I mean, if it comes out, I will just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'll leave. I'll be like, yes, I need me anymore. You got, got raw predicting this. Maybe they might go for a punch. I mean, you could kill a ball of the creeps with it. Holy crap. Are they gonna... oh, oh, thank God. Man. I still have a job. Okay, so they go for the Venomancer. And I'll be interested to see where they go for it. So it's going to be the offlane Venomancer, the mid Lina, and the Kerry Kunka. So it's going to be, what, position four on Dying or Crystal Maid? That's going to be interesting. Where is... Kishka gonna go with this uh, draft for um, for the little guns exactly as we predicted. You know yeah. they literally lined up like as we want them to be. And A, so it's gonna be the position uh, position five on dying position four crystal main. I've seen the blink shard crystal main with the BKB. Uh, it's very powerful, uh, and I and I don't know if you want to expand the roar to cancel that every time. 
Yeah, and the Venomancer coming out last. Um, that was second on my list. You know, I that, that oh, was yeah, there. Sure. But you know, it, it oh, is going to be able to um, get the slow off on the Ursa. Uh, you know, it, it takes away the refraction charge for the Templar Assassin. It makes the the you know it slows everybody right down on the side of neon these spots. You've got the push potential coming through from the wards, um, the the clear as well on the the, mm. the creep army because you know, the, the poison nova comes out it just hits everything and starts to take yes. it down the crystal maiden follows up with a freezing field you know you've got the kunker cleave then that's going to come through and die and taking away all the health so lil gun it is a great lineup but again neon it's a very early push lineup if the ursa gets a quick i mean even he does he doesn't even need any real life steal. if he gets something like the um the to neutralize him on the mask you know he can move in with the chan army the chan creeps the, the beast master with the attack speed bonus coming through from him to, to move in and it could be a very very quick roshan for the side of neon I, I mean i'm i agree with you i feel like game one i was like ah you know little gun if they have advantage they they're gonna win this this game neon esports they feel like they just have a better draft overall late game is not that big of an issue you got ta ursa late game mm. while beastmaster is going to be able to lock someone down little gun their late game lineup is, is decent but i don't say think it's that much better it's definitely not as good at pushing it's definitely not as good as i mean the team fight's okay but yeah I, i'm i'm all in on uh, on neon you know uh, make uh, uh, people it's it's all in neon neon i like their draft i like their draft a lot in this game yeah it's uh, I hmm. Little Gun I mean Little Gun looked really good again in the last that last game, but Neon will put up a fight and yeah, so Neon now if they get pinned in or if they get I mean if they get pinned in they've got the Beastmaster that can push out, you know, you probably then use the, the, the boots of travel to help you get around with the hawks. You'll get those pushes out onto the towers. And if you do start to take over the game, like you say earlier on, um the late game's great for Neon, but they look like they're good most of the way through the game here once the chance starts to roam around and take towers before the one thing oh, sorry. go on no 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 sorry. Uh, no, sorry, no the one thing i will say for neon that is a bit of a weakness besides the fact that avatar mode just dropped the observer ward right in front of sanctity is that they ta wants to farm and ursa wants to farm whereas lena will be running around making space and same thing with the cooker like cooker can definitely fight early yeah better than the ursa so one thing that they can do is that they can be like, oh, we're going to go even faster than you. Not because we have the heroes that are like super suitable. I mean, they have, but because you guys got a bunch of farmers that will take some time to get online. Yeah, uh, Kishka's going to oh, be taking a lot of damage. Mode. The rebound comes in immediately. That's going to be the first put right off the bat now. Uh, the poison of the Venom Scales used by the Venomance. The Venomance, though, the body block's coming through from SE. And it looks like the banana, he might be peeled here, trying to get himself away. But the body blocks are just too good. Going to be slowed down. And Ryu, does he want to throw the axes? Surprise, actually not surprised that he started with the axes build. He's going to be able to get another kill. And now the rebound as well. Sanctity, it's one by one by one. Saving your friend syndrome coming through and here. Ryu? And Ryu, axes once again. Now, let's say he's going to connect here, but he's still one. got those axes to throw. Is it going to be to get the damage out now as well play hard and oh. se picks up the kill towers <gasps> play hard just resets he, he, he... no one no one even cares about bounty ones but maybe in rio is he gonna go for the bounty you could go for it bro but decides not to even either way on three kills massive start for them yeah and uh, yeah the they knew that they needed to reset. You know, you can't come into the lane with a third of health and missing half your mana. So they just go down to the towers. They're going to have the TP scrolls to get themselves back into lane. Full health, full mana. No regen um, used up here now as well. Bottom lane, they're going to be able to go into the banana once again. Venomancer is going to be able to get himself away from this one. It looks like the chase is on here. But it might be a try versus try. And Fortune Sword is going to be taking a lot of damage right back here as Ace moves down. Kishka's showing. See? On the right-hand side, is he going to be in no man's land? Can he get himself away from this here now as well? Kishka, what's he going for? <laughs> Just the Crystal Nova at level 1, so he's going to be taking a lot of damage to Kay. He's got those three mangoes left. And Aish, Kishka picks up a revenge kill here. Three for three. We're not even a minute and a half into the game. Yeah, but I'm surprised that C decided to walk out. I mean, there's a TP up against heroes with no lockdown. The crystal, sorry, Crystal May has already showed she has Crystal Nova level 1 and nothing else. Mm. Try on try, I think I'm going to have to favor Lil' Gun a little bit here. Ace is pretty hard to bring down. You got multiple slows from the other two guys. Tombstone's going to be a problem for them. Uh, might be quite difficult for Neon to deal with if it's tried. Like, that is a great adjustment by Lil' Gun to 
like win the laning stage. Like I love this because I was thinking that Neon's gonna run away from with this game, but this this changes everything. Yeah, and it makes it. I mean, the Enryu playing as the Beastmaster as opposed to the um, Enigma isn't as bothered coming up against 4-2-3 on the Kunky. Yes, okay, the Cleave is still going to be able to take down those balls, but you're going to have the Axes, you know, the Inner Beast that's going to be extra attack speed to try and deal with the, the Kunker in that way. Um, so you don't have to put everything on your, um, your your little helper friends, you know, to try and win this mm. lane. The Kunker will be able to clean up. You are going to be able to do it in a different way. And I, I actually like to see the Beastmaster start off with the Axes before the, the ball did come out. Yeah, I mean... Oh, well, it looks like they're swapping. Fortune Soul goes up here. And so Enry is like, I'm going to go bottom, I guess. <laughs> so they want, they, it's going to be carry, you know, man to man, carry to carry. Meanwhile, it's going to be, you know, the three, four, five in the bottom lane facing off against each other. Beastmaster bottom instead of Ursa. I'm not, I don't know if that's much of an upgrade. I still think Little Gun looks pretty damn solid in this lane. Yeah. And oh, no, I guess he, yeah, he's just gonna farm with the wild axes, right? Like that's all he's really gonna do. Ursa has no ability to do anything like that. He's like, oh, you know, if Ursa's coming here. He's throwing his body to get last hits, and four to three actually teleports. But this is really, I mean, look at this. Look at the lighting <laughs> stage. This is, I love this tournament. Every game, someone's like, you know, what? we're gonna swap the whole script around. Everyone's gonna change lanes at this point. Yeah, and the uh, SC actually denying the bounty room oh, there because the Crystal Levin? Maiden top lane, they're going to make, make a dive on the Venomancer. Venomancer, drive by by the Disposers. He's already used that Venomous Gale, and I wonder if he carries on going here. Play hard, going to be slowed down. Crystal Maiden's close, so he's going to be able to do a lot of damage. Well, it's that Frostbite now as well. Play hard, taking a lot of damage, but the Ursa is going to try and dive back in. Play hard, still taking down here. The Poison Sting, is it going to be off? It's not going to be, and Marcy will be healthy here. Can't say the same thing about the Venomancer. Kishka gets yeah, a revenge kill, but it looks like the chase away. Fortune Soul, he has that Earth Shock in a couple of seconds if he wants to use it. Kishka just backs himself away. He's got a lot of tangos on the Fortune Soul, so he's going to be happy with that. 11, looks like this rotation does not favor Little Gun as much because you are training your core forest support. And in the meantime, by the way, the one that we haven't talked about is the mid lane, which looks like there's going to be some action in right now. The double rebound stun. Yeah, just to try and get the water room, but Sanctity did get the, the bottle off before it was picked up and yeah so how does this lane play we're looking at 25 losses and 11 denies here on sanctity to the 18 and 0 of the ta and so you can't really... i'm a little surprised yeah do you just have to use your attack speed to get through the refraction charges here in sanctity uh well one nice thing is that you can always like you know the dragon slave will always be like harassing the ta but generally you should have enough refraction charges i think that uh, sanctity is just playing this lane really well like i did not i do not think he should be 30 30 and 11 to the 20 zero of avatar but meanwhile in ryu dies while i was jabbering away the mid lane i apologize for that it's okay we and, get caught uh, monologuing all the time it's what we do as Right, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's, a jo it's our job, although SE, <laughs> your job is to survive. Your job is to win, bro, not lose. But he is going to be able to make it out alive in that situation. Do you play a lot of Chen in your pubs, or...? Uh, no, I play zero micro heroes because my micro is non-existent. Seriously, if I need more than four buttons, I start to have a panic attack. Uh, well, actually, Chen's not that bad compared to before. Nowadays, most people just, like, once uh, he gets, like, level... You know, send message. Just go for a bunch of aura creeps. Mm. You know, like the centaur, fifteen magic resistance, the wolf, and stuff like that. And that's it. You just run at towers. It's one. It's like the easiest MMR of your life. I highly recommend it if you if you're you know, able to. No. Um, Do it. E no, no, no. Straight. Do no. it. No. Off. Oh, fine. In the <laughs> meantime, back to the game. Eleven is suffering a little bit, but Fortune Soul isn't doing too hot. Overall, just a little gun. Doing a lot better at the laning stage than I kind of think they should, mostly due to Sanctity, though. That's where the big advantage comes from. Has the Falcon Blade level, sorry, level one, has the Falcon Blade early on here, which means that this Sanctity, he wants to go for some right click here. Yeah, and it does, I mean, the amount of mana that you put out on the spells as well, you know, you, you put out a lot of mana just using your two spells, that's even before the Laguna Blade comes out. Uh, see, double damage picked up from Ace, so he is going to be taking some harass coming through from this Undying. Um, but yeah, this is the build I'm seeing more and more. Uh, the early Falcon's Blade, and then you go back for the, the Boots of Travel into the, the BKB again, you know, you follow up either then with an Axe or uh, a Daedalus Silver Edge combo top lane, though they're going to make a dive, and in fact, Venomancer, can he get himself away from this? He's already used his Venomous Gale, he's trying to do what he can 
but it wasn't enough. Uh, good, much need for Neon Esports. Again, their lineup does come on, at, you know, once it's on live, then they're a big, they're a big threat, you know. Mm. Once we have a few levels on the chin, once, once we says Master going for, he's going, so he's going to go for that Vlaz, already has the Ring of Basilis here. Um, like, once we get a couple of items going on them, then they'll be threatening. Chen's going for the mech as well, and oh, that might be a dead 4-2-3. Yeah, 4 2 3 got dove on. It was a really nice toss coming through the boulder toss from the mud golem now. Into the dive rebound from Playhard. Three heroes stacking up, and they get the kill onto 4 2 3 just putting them a little bit behind. 20 seconds? Even the Crystal Maiden goes down, and Kishka... I, where was? It was way out of position. No heroes. To, to help him out there, you know, the Undyne was away, the Venomancer was on the lane, and Fortune Soul just comes in and picks up a, an easy kill onto the Crystal Maiden. This... Hmm... Well, I'm trying to wonder if this is like... Just, you know, it's, oh, it's unfortunate for Little Gun, if this is turning into a really bad situation, because... I mean, Little Gun, they were doing pretty well in the laning stage, so I, I guess oh, it's okay, you know, for Little Gun. Yeah, you trade away a couple of kills, but it's fine, you kind of expect it to be a little bit behind at this point of the game so it's not too bad and they do have decent wave clears for once uh neon starts to sort of group up but yeah you got you know chance got a mech very soon like that is gonna be a very fast mech for him yeah uh trap pops on ace as well so he's gonna be taking some damage didn't get the d ward off it doesn't look like there as well so it looks like avatar sanctity he's gonna be able to get that d ward off and he does get the uh the regen rune here avatar so I wonder, is there any stacks? There is. There's a couple of stacks in the jungle there as well. Literally just a, a couple. Much better. Yeah, the Avatar's going to be able to move into and the regen rune's going to be able to benefit him here now as well. Easily just cleaning these up. I, I'm surprised that um, Little Gun haven't tried to ward this out in any way, shape, or form. Just to try and see when this was do being done by the TA. But, um, yeah, so TA, it's going to be a Desolator. So, do you go for the blink afterwards, or do you want to go back for a BKB here on um, Avatar mode, or you know what is it that TA wants to build here? It's hard to predict what Pro is going to do because their mentality could be like come, something completely different. I would say that he wants. Oh, by the top lane, Eleven might be losing his life again. Fortune Soul dives in, has the ulti, and just going to keep back. I'd suggest you, like, you go for the BKB. You don't really need to jump and catch people if that makes sense. Like, you just mm. need to want to hit towers. Yeah. So if you get, you know, you just go like mow them down one by one. Oh, the First man is just going to be mowed down. Yeah, uh, it's just, it's... I, I feel bad for she, Crystal Maiden. No, I don't. No, I don't. She's just, <laughs> she's just, this is the kind of hero. You just yell at her and she's like, Oh my god, I can't do anything. She's, she's a dumb hero now. That's what she does. Um, and as you can see, like Chen, he's getting, he's getting those creeps going. He's got the mana creep. He's got a creep that gives them a bunch of health regen. It's gonna... It's gonna start. The snowball feels like it's gonna start very soon for you. Look at Sanctity! Yeah, and this is kind of the issue as well, though. Okay, calls it. But, you know, you don't really have... The LSA was already committed there as well, so you don't... Oh, I mean, the, the Lena was dead. So you didn't have anything to stop that TP. Um, I would like to see the Venomancer go back for the Shard after the Spirit Vessel, you know, to, to be able to get that latent Toxicity, to get that stun in. Um, but, yeah, Avatar mode, he's just... He got a pick, he got himself away, and Marcy just got the TP out. So going to be absolutely but, fine uh, with that pick. But lane toxicity isn't that great this game because there's no they don't have dispels on their team yet, right? Like you have to wait for the TA level twenty talent or the Chen level twenty five. Like I don't think that it's uh, yeah. you're gonna get this done for a long time. I mean, you're still gonna be looking at the BKBs on Neon as well. Um, but it's more it does it's just the extra slows, you know, the extra damage that comes out from it. It's still, I think, it it, it helps Venomancer burst down heroes quicker because. It, Venomancer, you know, it's a hero that's all about the dots, and I can't even say it helps yeah. burst down, but it helps tick heroes down a lot quicker. Oh, well, they see everything here from Arian Sports. I, I'm not going to debate you on the Venomancer. I, I have my own strong feelings yeah. about this shard. So, uh, uh, all right. I mean, maybe. I'm not the biggest fan, but maybe, who knows, maybe it might be really good for them. Although, Ace? That was just... The, the control on that, SE using the Hurricane to drag the Undying back into the Dispose to push him back further, the control on that was just immense. Mm. Um, and, well, they're gonna get the t like, like, this is getting... It's getting a little scary, you know, like, Little Gun, the Venomancer's basically not... It's not giving them much at this point of the game, you know, he's quite far behind on 11, and the hero, the Ven Venomancer's one of those heroes that always feels kind of like a plus one, if that makes sense, like, he's not really... He's really good when other people are having a good game. It's like, mm. oh wow, this is, he's doing a lot. But him by himself, he's having a good game. Yeah. 
and they get the kill into Kishka again. And Avatar mode, I don't think he's done. He's got that haste rune. Does he want to go even further? The trap will be dis uh, disarmed, dewarded. But Removed. Avatar mode, yeah, you can just come in and just clean up the creep waves and just put the pressure onto the tier one tower again. How 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 do Lil Gun deal with this hero? What's the plan? I mean, you gotta maybe you can. It's just a tough situation for the little gun here. I'm trying. Let's see. If there's any. There. There's no. Like, look at the ace. He's got no items. Kunka is going to go for the armlet. That's interesting item choice. Venomancer is going to has the spirit vest, but no charges, which is a little unfortunate. Lena, she's going to go for the hurricane, but like just wants. Sorry for the dragon. Let's just wants to be able to stay behind. Like they're. They don't. They're not really itemizing to fight. If that makes sense. Like they're kind of scared. They know Neon's coming. Little gun, they're not. They're not they're, they seem unsure. Yeah, I don't blame them. Like the on esports, just they're playing this draft so well right now. Looking like a one-one day today. Yeah, teams are bouncing back after. I, I can't even say Neon had a disappointing first game because you know it was just mm. little gun looked again um, that level above, and Neon did put up a really good fight, but. Mm. They just couldn't match the tempo of Lilgan, but in this second game, yeah, they are absolutely taking control of this map. You, like, like you say, the control coming out from the zoom matter, just pushing through, and who's taking down this bottom tower? He's trying to push onto the T2 now as well. Sanctity doing what he can to clear this up, but now that they've been dragged to the bottom lane, you know, they, it's going to be a kill. Fortune Soul picks up a kill onto the onto Ace. You've got the Chen that's farming up. You know, your position five Chen, like you say, early mechanism going into another. Mm. Um, Wraith pack coming out, so that's going to be some great sustain coming out from the side of Neon. If he wants to now as well, Fortune Soul, he's got that Possessed Mask, so he's going to be able to move himself into the Roche Pit. Level 10 now as well, so this is going to be a really 30 minutes, 13 and a half minutes, they're in the Roche Pit, and with the, the armor reduction coming through from the TA as well, this is going to be a really quick Roshan. And uh, I like where he went also on Fortune Soul, went for the, it, like, they're not just picking the heroes, they're playing, they're picking all the right items, you know, mm -hmm. going for that Diffuser Blade on the Ursa is like, I just want to get close on someone, just want to beat them down, the TA, I'm excited to see what she goes for after this later, I still think the BKB would be the option, but maybe she's going like, oh, I want to jump in and, and catch someone with some Hawk's Vision, but, uh, Lil God, the map is shrinking, and you don't really have the heroes who can play in this situation, uh, it's worrisome. And I'm I'm wondering how they how they're gonna be able to make a comeback. Might come from four two three on the Kunka. You know, you get very farmed. You go in with a boat. You get a couple of pickoffs. That might work for them. Yeah. And oh, sanctity. Well, I think it's about to make the dive in. It looks like because I mean the roar is available as well, so they are gonna be committing this roar now as well. Dispose if he wants to use it. It's just gonna go straight for the unleash. Tombstone's gonna to be dropped, but this is gonna be away from the tombstone, and the, might, the chase might even come on now. Oh, the shock! It doesn't get him to the high ground, so the zombies <laughs> are still there. Uh, like much as I was like, eh, I can't. My feet are too stubby. You know, I, I can't get up there. Uh, the man that's like, all right, fine. We'll just walk up there with like a billion zombies. But even then, it just makes no difference because they got billions of auras coming on their side right now. That's another thing that uh, an advantage when you. Oh well, eleven. Yeah, and 11's just going to be locked down and take another boat. Will come through though. Is there going to be enough damage to take him down? One more right click from the Earth of Fortune Soul. Going to be slowed down. He's still going to be able to get the kill, and now they're going to be able to change targets onto 423. 423 trying to run himself away from this one. Was that follow going to come through though? There's going to be another bounce through. Rebound onto Kishka. Kishka, does he go down once again? They're going to be able to get a kill onto Play Hard as a return kill on the high ground, but it's still going to be a two for one trade, and it might even be oh, the tier one tower's already gone down, and they're going to be able to catch up 423. X marks his spot onto Fortune Soul, so he is going to be kited Back, but again, he has that Aegis, so it's better here for Lil Gun just to run themselves away, not to commit to a fight. Yeah, it's like, I can just run at anyone I want, and there's literally nothing they can do. He's gonna go for a Blink Dagger, it's gonna be available for him very soon. They see Ace, and they like, oh yeah, we just want to kill this guy. Uh, 43 is gonna be able to TP out, but Ace, I don't think he's gonna be as lucky. Poor guy, he's gonna lose his life. Undying, Hero 3 in this game, and... Yeah. Now, I guess the question is now, is Lil Gun doing enough to sort of make the space that, you know, they're up against Aegis, they're like, maybe we can delay it to late game. I don't think that that's as good of a strategy in this game, because you're up against a late game Ursa TA, you know, it's not really like you're up against a joke late game lineup. Yeah, and you can see that Sanctity didn't even go for the Boots of Travel here, went for that. Um, early power treads for like that little bit of an early game spike power spike will be going back for the hurricane pike into the daedalus so he's going to have that right click damage to come through as well which again is more or less the build that you see coming through from the lena but the, again while this is going on and he just says right i'll move to the top lane and i'll start to push this one out kunker gonna be able to clean up most of the creeps with the armlet 
<laughs> and the, the tie bringer, but it's still going to be some damage onto this tier 2. And again, like you say, Neon, just being able to control the map, just slowly, slowly restrict Little Gun. They're going to be able to, able to get the dive now as well. The Dispose comes out slow into 423. 423, what can he do? He's going to try and armlet toggle his way through this. But Fortune Soul with right click, so it's Fury Swipes. Completely take Wait, him out of the game. I can't chance. See how many auras he has on him. What was like, like, like nine auras or something like that. That is. That's why this like small advantage that 4K means. It's something like 15. I, I say it in game one, but it really is like that. You know, you've got 15% magic resistance, 5% health regen, bunch of armor coming out from items, and, and it's like it's so much. Eleven loses his life as well, and. Don't want to say it's over for Little Gun. There's definitely as they have a chance to come back in this game, but it is certainly it's tough. almost over. Yeah, yeah. You have the the dull damage coming through on Avatar now again with the Desolator, the Creep Army coming through from the Beastmaster. This tower is just being absolutely shredded. X Max is spawned into Avatar mode, but the rest of his team they are going to be catching up here on the side of Neon, where you can see that even the Undying he's just trying to do what he can to split push, just cut this wave. The Crystal Maiden is going to be caught out once again. Two five and one on this Crystal Maiden. Two six and one. And just being absolutely destroyed. In fact, Fortune Souls get in. He's going to try and take this tombstone down. The right clicks. He's being controlled. Whereas that Aegis, how long has he got for it? The Roar's going to be coming out. The Torrent is going to be controlled out. Aegis will be taken away. So he's not going to be. I mean, he's still going to be fine because he's coming into these fights. Everybody's on half health. Okay, the Poison Nova has been used. They get the Laguna Blade off to take the Marcy out. But it looks like the rest of Neon are they going to be able to run themselves away from this Fortune Soul. Going to be dragged back to the X Marks spot. Ace trying to chase out, but they still get the damage out. They do get the kill onto the Ursaba. But again, Avatar mode. Now the Scurry Hurry Furry burst down. It looks like 11. They want to turn onto the Templar Assassin. Templar pops those refraction charges. Are they going to tick out? Can they get themselves away from this? That might have been Neon's best timing, honestly. Like, we'll see what, what, what they do with the second Aegis. But Little Gun being able to hold that defense at this stage of the game, because later on, Chen's going to fall off and Beastmaster's auras are going to be less useful. Like, creeps in general are just going to get weaker as the game goes on. Yeah. I mean, they get stronger, but in, re in relation to heroes, they get weaker. So the fact that Neon couldn't take that tower, that could be a brick ball. Sanctity, though, might be losing her life here if she's not careful. Avatar mode, they know. Poor Sanctity. Yeah, Sanctity trying to use the Force Staff into the TP away. It might just be enough, actually. No. Oh! <gasps> the rebound, it didn't get the stun in time. Oh my, oh, oh, that is, oh, that's a report. Can we report people? Is it, can we do that <laughs> as, as, as cast now? No, I don't think but we can. But that is, that is tough, that is rough, that uh, Sanctuary, that is the most farmed hero on Little Gun right now. You know, that's basically the, their their whole team is, is uh, the Sanctity. Yeah. And Sanctity, by the way, is going all damage, realizing that, hey, listen, if I BKB, I'm, I'm going to be able hitting like a wet towel. I might as well just get the damn, get as much damage as I can, just burst people down and hope for the best. I like that approach. It's aggressive, it's bold, and it's kind of what you need to win right now. Yeah, uh, I mean, you talked about the power spike the, the last time Neon went pushing high ground, but you're still going to have the BKB coming out for the Ursa here now as well. You're going to yes. have the uh, the Blink Dagger for the Beastmaster Playhards going towards his own BKB, so that's still a really nice timing. And in fact, if those two heroes, the Marcy and the Ursa, get the BKB and they go for another high ground push, you know, if they had that in the last fight, they don't get caught out, controlled, and killed off, I don't think. I think they get themselves away. So having these items to come out for the, even the Blink Dagger to get the, um, the engage for Enu to get that point blank roar if he needs it, I think that's going to be the proper power spike here for Neon. It's going to be where Lil going to be really tested in the... Uh, oh, for sure. It, whether I mean, just roll. because... I mean, just because Lil Gun was able to, like, withstand, I'm, I'm there, no way out of the woods. Like, it's still a very dangerous game, but... That was sort of like, that was a big test for them and they were still able to make it out. So you're like, hmm, it's not as hopeless as uh, one of the casters may have made it sound. The bad one. <laughs> one of the casters. The, the, the one without hair. I don't know, that guy. Um, but, I mean, you uh, look at this. You, you've got Eleven going for the... Um, the, the Ghost Scepter, so he's going to be trying to get away, because the right click coming through from the Templar Assassin, the Ursa, so if he can avoid those, and then he's going to go back for the Shard. I still think the Shard is a really good I I know you don't agree, um, and that's fair enough, oh, but the Rod, they're going to try and engage onto this, a Tombstone has been dropped, where's that engage going to go to? Onto the Beastmaster, Enryu, going to get himself away, AC's already popped that Flash Gold, there's going to be the, the Frostbite now coming out, and Enryu trying to run himself away from this, zombies. this zombie army is just taking out the Frostbite onto the Chen, so they get the kill onto the Beastmaster, can they go even Here further onto the second Beastmaster Chen, trying to 
get himself away from this, but with two heroes on top of them, they are going to be able to do the damage and immediately take him down. Now, Templar running away, but he might turn back. Ace trying to do what he can. That might have been a bait, actually, to get someone to engage. Trying to take back that outpost. X marks his spot. Avatar, he's already used the, the blink. Oh, it's on cooldown from taking damage anyway, and he's not going to be able to get himself too far away without 4-2-3 chasing, but the change targets onto the Marcy. The Marcy doesn't have that BKB just yet, and it's going to be all five heroes from the side of Little Gun hunted onto this. X marks the spot, so the rebound is going to be completely useless. So chase out to the LSA. He get the kill onto the Marcy. You can play hard. He's going to go down hard. And again, Dude, that is a... Little Gun. Yeah, that's a three for nothing trade. Dude, Little Gun. Little Gun, they're doing it. Little Gun is... They're having... like They're holding, and... That's very impressive. I did not think that they would be able to go through that insane power spike the Neon were having. But Lil Gun, like I said they have brought long, good long range spells. The Tombstone that fight was it was incredible as well. Just get the zombie army and Neon. They might have like a couple more tries and that's it. But, yeah. Well, I don't say that's it, but it's uh, they 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 they're a little past their peak right now. You know they're not they're not as dangerous as they were before comparison to little gun little guns they're catching up they're they're able to take them take them on five on five yeah and the next rush is up and yep it is little gonna position around the pit they've got most of the ultimates flesh golems only 15 seconds away they're the dire team as well so they also have the dire advantage of being able to just teleport to the outpost they have Three buybacks as well on to on uh, both the Kunka, the Lina, as well as Ace is undying. So they can like if you know if someone goes in and dies, you can come back and just fight. No one on Neon has buyback though. Mm. And look at this, the Kunka's just trying to do his best to cut the wave, well, just push the wave back, excuse me, while using the X marks as possible. So they don't want to be giving this up. I think Neon are doing the best thing they can here. That if they have, do they actually have the vision to see this? They don't, but they've got three heroes positioned around the pit. They're using the Ursa to split push out, the Beastmaster to split push as well. But Lil Gun, they're going to start it. Mm. All right. I mean, it's they get a lot of benefit out of this uh, these Serpent Wars. That's a nice bit of of vision for them. And Neon, they're throwing out these creeps one by one, losing them. Not ideal because these creeps, tend, some of them have auras, but. Don't want to throw them off too far. That's that's Roche. He's falling. Yeah, are they gonna be able to contest? It looks like not. In fact, Sanctity. Or well, they're gonna be able to do the backlines. There is gonna be the dive in the nice roll. Poison Nova's gonna go now. It's the Aegis. He was picked up oh. by eleven, and it looks like actually Roshan went down to the radiant. They're gonna be able to chase onto this four two three. He's gonna be able to get himself away. The four staff comes out. They might be able to take down onto the Venomance. And Venomance, a one more right click. He gets himself out with the TP though. There's gonna be a really nice freezing field onto the Ursa. Ursa uh, drive back. There's gonna be a torrent, but it looks like it's gonna be the. Kill on the Crystal Maiden once again. And Avatar mode picks that one up. Kishka goes down. Ah, uh, heavy, heavy victory for Neon. Not only, they got the, they didn't get the Ace, but they still killed Roshan, and they got three people after it. Sanctity dying was a big deal. A bit like he had to be in the pit to attack Roshan, but that's unfortunate mm. because then you're caught by everything. No BKB. Not that it matters too much against uh, the Beastmaster anyway. So a little unfortunate. It's easier for them to fight the high ground. You will be up in ten seconds though. We'll yeah. see if Neon. Yeah, Neon, they have faltered twice when going high ground. Are they going to try for a third time? Third time, as they say, is the charm. Mm. But, I mean, if, I don't know because, like, like you say, they have gone up twice and failed twice. They were waiting for that next Roshan. Um, the Aegis ended up going to Lil Gun, even if it was popped straight away. That's still Neon. You know, they have to be careful. They can't really risk it out. And Lil Gun say, well, what have we got to lose? We just push out, okay, our ultimates are down, smoke's gonna break, they might be able to go into play hard. Play hard, he rebounds into it, he's gonna pop that BKB, he's gonna try and fight out with the Unleash, it looks like he's not gonna be using it. It's on cooldown still, so there's gonna be the chase into play hard, play hard. Where's the follow-up tidal wave, it's not gonna drive back because there was a BKB, the back lines of Raw comes out. Sanctity, he's gonna be forced after around, he's gonna be pushed around, and Ursa is trying to tick him down. TA on top of him now as well. Kishka is going to go down once again. TA he's hunting. He wants that crystal maiden. 4 2 3 is going to get low now as well. That's buybacks away from the last three heroes. They are dead. Four heroes down. Ace, the last one standing. He's not going to be standing for long. Uh, yeah, TA, unfortunately, that was a fight right next to Radiant Vision. Uh, Playhard did a great job jumping in. They used both on him. Like, I mean, I guess they got the damage debuff on uh, sorry, the like damage mitigation buff on them, which is nice, but. That was a boat that felt kind of pointless because by the time Neon was ready, the boat, boat debuff, debuff was wearing off. GG is called, and Neon take it. It is, it is going to be a 1-1 kind of day right now, the first two series. Neon's draft, 
just we said it's better basically than all stages of the game. I was surprised that Lincoln was able to hold them off in the first two pushes, but at the end Neon took it as kind of was expected. They played their draft really well. Little gun, some signs of brilliance, but they need a little bit more than signs to to, to you know to come back in this game. Yeah, and thirty to eleven. So the like you say, the Neon Esports lineup did the job, and it was just you look at the kills. Venomancer didn't even pick up a kill. Oh yes, it's yeah. The Venom Master pick was really the one that kind of feels like the the one that fell flat most to me. If that makes sense, like I'm okay with everything else, but Venom Master is just a hero that. Yeah, it really has to perform. Like I say, it's just, it just feels like always like a plus one kind of hero mm. that needs other people to do well for him to do well, and he, his team wasn't able to do too well. Even though Sanctity actually won the mid lane by a lot. Like, that's kind of crazy. Sanctity did so on the mid lane, but not much benefit coming out from 11 this game, and Neon, they, were, they tied up one to one. Yeah, and that is going to be the series coming out for the, uh, the second series of the day. So again, one for one. Um, it is going to be a third and final series, guys, coming up in about 10, 15, 20 minutes. So, again, quick stretch, something to eat, and be back for the third and final series. It's going to be Execration versus Army Geniuses coming up in about, uh, let's say, a 15-minute break. We'll see you then.